What's up guys, gals, and you awesome, awesome means and games of different shapes and sizes. It's me, Judge Gnome Proxy, bringing you some more Titanfall 2 today on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and it's gonna be pretty freaking awesome. Don't forget to drop a like and join us if you want to subscribe for more Titanfall 2 content in the future. This is actually Titan Battle. This has been a long time since I actually ended up showing you some more footage of this, but I love it. I love it so, so much, and also I wanted to show you some Ion, because why not Ion? Ion is my gal, is my guy. I don't know, do, do people generally kind of like personify their Titans as like different genders? I guess the AIs kind of do that, you know, little voices inside them and stuff, I'm not too sure, but I mean, I personally, I mean, in the original Titanfall, saw them all as gals, you know, and even if they had, like, male voices, but then again, you could also change the voices, you can't do that in this game, but it would be awesome if you could do that in Titanfall 2. Well, let's know what you do. Do you actually see them as guys or gals, or maybe you see them as a mix of the two, you never know, everything's about diversity at the moment. But, this is Titan Battle, they have now cancelled this, in a sense where, I mentioned this in a previous this video where basically Titanfall is trying to go down the route of like Overwatch where it would do like limited time events and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing maybe it's a good thing maybe it's also a bad thing because Titan Battle is pretty much the best thing to ever happen to Titanfall 2 when it came to game modes like everybody already loved attrition or you know bounty hunts and so it was that thing where when we actually had last time standing it was a good game mode but people really wanted a very focused titan mode and it was this thing where we ended up getting it with titan battle where it was pretty much attrition but you just played in titan so as you can see look when you die you respawn again in your titan it's not a thing where like in last time standing you only had one life and you had to try to be very careful about it so it meant that sometimes other titans that you might actually have in your loadout aren't very useful aren't kind of like as compatible or viable in the fight. Look, it's hunting down a Ronin here. Can we actually go in for the melee execution? Yes, we can, baby! They seem to have got some rockets flying into my head as well, actually giving this guy a barrel full of ponage in its face. I mean, why not? I mean, it, it, I wonder if it actually tastes of anything. I'm not too sure. Lightning. What does lightning taste of? I, I have no idea. But... As mentioned, this mode has actually now kind of ceased to exist, and I really hope they bring it back because it was my favorite game mode that I've ever actually ever played in Titanfall 2. I still love Attrition and Bounty Hunt, and obviously there are really other game modes as well. I mean, it's kind of unusual that, say, like, Capture the Flag isn't as good in Titanfall 2 compared to Titanfall 1, but really love Titan Battle. I just loved how it kind of, it felt so, kind of... It felt so part of what Titanfall is. Like, it felt like this is kind of like the game mode we had been waiting for because Titanfall is the name of the game, you know? And so this thing where you actually are reveling in the fact that you're in a robot, you know, and actually you're trying to use those skills as a Titan pilot just seemed so cool. It wasn't a thing about running around trying to do Call of Duty shooting and stuff like that. It was actually about using the robots, actually using those executions, those abilities, those weapons. And I like that. I loved as well that depending on which Titan you used, different ones had different counts and things. And they had this thing where, like, say, with the new Monarch, Legion, as we're fighting against here, was a really Oh my goodness, he nearly killed- Oh, he did kill me! I, I actually had him on death's door then! He was able to keep me back with that double power shot! Look at that! Good boy! That power shot is so incredibly useful and really good as well because obviously with Legion who can move very slowly, it's this thing where if you actually have a repel ability like a double power shot, it's just, as you saw there, like, you could just put an eye on who, and I was doing the bad thing of trying to do the execution melee finisher, and obviously it did not work in my favor. This is something to always remember when it comes to Titanfall 2. Never try and go for an execution melee finisher first above anything else. Try and make sure you're using your over abilities, like, say, the if you're using Ion, like, use your shoulder laser cannon instead, because it means that you'll actually keep your health longer, because it's this thing where I think a lot of us get this need, this feeling that we need to have an execution finisher, this epic moment in Titanfall 2 when it comes to fighting other enemy titans, you want to kind of like rub it in their face, it's like a little bit of a teabag in a sense. So the, the teabag is the animation of the execution, you know, and it seems that a lot of us would actually go out of our way to, in a sense, like sacrifice health and even our own titans lives, you know, our own KD, if you want to even class it as that, you know, even our own kind of like performance just to do the execution, to rub it in the enemy face. And it's just an unusual thing, don't you think? Like I seem to find that I end up falling into that as well. Like it's kind of like a daydream or it's one of those things where like you can't control yourself, you just must have it, you know? <laughs> Does anybody else feel like that? I'd love to know. But also something I want to mention is I'm really sorry about not being able to put out more content recently. Something that you may or may not know is I ended up getting a brand new job and it's ended up taking up a lot of my time like the last two weeks. I basically have like three months probation it's called where basically they kind of like let me get used to the whole thing you know. 
And so it's this thing where they've ended up putting me in these like really unusual like time shifts and things. And the training is just like nuts. And it's this thing where like it's taking so much out of me that when I get like home and stuff, I'm just so done. Like every single day for like the last week and a half, all I have done is sleep. Like, and it's not even a thing of like feeling tired from like say just the work. You know, it's like a you know being an adult. It's not even that kind of thing. It's just like a thing of like so much I'm having to put into it and it's just taken so much out of me and it's this thing where it's really kind of like affected my kind of like output of videos and so I really really apologize for that but when it comes to Titanfall 2 just got pwned by a toad <laughs> oh no and this is the thing to remember as well because this is actually Titan battle you can't eject from your Titan so if you do actually get melee executed, you actually see the pilot get killed as well, which is so sad. So as you saw there, Tone actually pulling my pilot out of the Titan and then just completely... I, I don't even know what you'd call that, smothering it with a 40mm cannon shell. It was just mean, it was cruel. But we're also losing, which isn't something you want to know about. So it's 18-16 to the enemy team, but the really good thing is as well is that we might be able to catch up from this. We've got a massive scrimmage here, which is very, very cool. This is something that's always look forward to when it comes to these kind of moments in Time Battle. Is where everybody's kind of just like mashing together, you know? It's like nobody knows who anybody is. You're always kind of like free for all in a sense, you know, seeing, seeing who can take out, because remember that when you're actually in a Titan, you can't regenerate health unless you're a Monarch, because obviously with Monarch, you can actually get the health back and stuff. I mean, you could do a little bit with the other Titans, but it's not as effective. This is the thing, is that Monarch kind of like bases its, um, its ultimate, I guess, on the fact that it can finish people off, steal the battery, get some health back, and also to get the shield. And so it's this unusual thing where with the other Titans, they can get a little bit of, sh like, armor back and also get a revived shield but it's not as kind of like you know lasting in a sense like it doesn't kind of like keep you in the fight for super super long like you will end up losing health and you are, you are going to die this is the thing it's kind of like Titanfall is saying look accept your fate this is something kind of like comparable to real life in the end we will all age we will all get old we will all potentially go through very horrible circumstances in our lives and may even die from it. And so it's this thing where like Titanfall is kind of like telling us that. It's kind of like easing us into that fact where you might be able to go out like a badass, but you're still gonna go out. <laughs> but really cool. Oh my goodness, why could I not get an execution for that? That would have been so cool if I did. Whenever you see them on fire as well, that is just really cool because they actually have really awesome fire effects in Titanfall 2. And so when you're actually doing a, a melee finisher on an enemy and it's obviously using that, you know, that fire effect or surrounding them, even when you're actually on fire yourself, it's just really bad. So that guy there didn't even get to like, get executed he just flopped over. <laughs> it wasn't even worth the execution, whatever buddy. Pfft. We can use that for more what would you say, more honorable people. <laughs> but, and again, this is a really cool thing, so as I was saying about the scrimmages, and so you'll find this a lot when it comes to Titanfall 2, is where Titans will actually kind of like mesh together. You'll have clumps of them, so the viability of all the Titans is so great when it comes to this game mode, because we saw there with Scorch, it was able to drop that gas canister down, which will obviously ignite, and then be able to damage multiple enemies in its AoE. So there's just so much useful kind of, you know... Would you say utilities? Oh my goodness, Monarch poning me here, but not the battery finisher. So this one was actually the standard one where he pulls the pilot out and crushes them with his fist. Really cool execution. But obviously, Monarch has that ability to kind of augment the kill, where it means that they can actually steal the battery from you. This is one of the main features of the Monarch, and one that I think was kind of annoying when it came to Titan Battle, actually, and Monarch, is that you'd find that if you actually had, like, an enemy team full of Monarchs, they would all rush you like that. They'd be using their machine guns, they'd be using their battery execution, and you felt a little bit overwhelmed. And it was kind of like a thing where, I don't know if it was, like, a balance thing or not, I'd love to know your opinion when it came to that, but to me, it was just kind of like... You know, it was Monarch being Monarch, and I guess it was just us kind of trying to get used to it. Like, this was during the time where nobody knew that Legion and, say, like, Tone were really good counters to Monarch. This is the thing, all the Titans have their counters, and this dude here's butthole is countered by my fist. And also a gigantic nipple laser to the face, I mean, why not? I'm really looking forward to seeing if they do more executions, that'd be really, really cool. Like, I I'm really looking forward to seeing what else they can do with Titanfall 2. Still looking forward to that Horde mode, obviously gonna do it because it was actually data mined from the game and obviously we saw Monarch was actually data mined as well so once that Horde mode which everyone is crying for comes out I am just gonna be so happy, especially if they make it so it's soluble, it's, it's one of those things where you can actually enjoy it just by yourself because that's something that you couldn't really do in the original Titanfall's Horde mode is that you had to kind of do it with friends because it got so hard, it got so difficult and so I'm quite looking forward to seeing if they can actually somehow make that work, I mean maybe Monarch is the key to that because obviously with the execution you can get your batteries back it means you can 
can get health. So maybe that is going to be like the solvable thing to that. I'm not too sure. But this Scorch trying to survive me. And oh my goodness, an Ion's getting me right in the back while I'm trying to take down that Scorch. Jeez, that is not a way to potentially end this. Oh well. But still, 27 27, a draw, and still kicking ass. 12 kills, 4 deaths. Let me know if you can do any better in the comment section below. But it has been me, Josh, shaking in my proxy, bringing you some Timefall 2. And I will see you all next time. Ciao for now.